Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, oh, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Hey, folks. Well, we're on the home stretch of this podcast, folks. Yeah, wow, well, we I mean, are cancel I mean, right on the tip of cancel. It can't be much longer. No, sorry, bub. We are nervous. Are you on camera right now? I feel like oh, it's yeah. pointing directly at my testicles. I'm Let on me camera. Just I'm, I'm nervous because uh, this is more evidence for the fucking scary weirdos. I know. Well, I think videos worse somehow oh yeah well jared Fried, uh he said on his podcast last week he was like you don't get fired for podcasts you get fired for tweets and then three days later shane got fired for a podcast oh wow jesus yeah if everyone do me a big favor so we always say to spread the word tell everyone spread the butter spread your ass cheeks spread the word to friends but don't tell anybody Sus- that's suspect about what we're doing here. Maybe nobody with a with blue hair. Yeah, or a tattoo fedora of a, of a bird. Yeah, something um, like that. Tell your friend. Uh, that's what I've been saying. I went on guys we fucked. That'll be out hey, soon, I think. Women. And uh, I say, uh, you know, you, when, I, when I play the podcast, I say, but it's extremely irreverent. Please don't just herky jerky listen to it. Sure. Because guys we fuck, we're having like a serious conversation about relationships and sex, and you know. I, I'm, I'm probably this big sweetie pie. Uh-huh. I'm going, well, my wife, I don't judge her for past sex, and I'm very emotional, and I like to plan special days, and here, here. Uh, it's hard to have sex sometimes because we're such buddies. We have to, we're, I love, I'm a lover, and they're like, oh my God, you're so sweet. You're a great person. You're and a good partner. I'll tell you that. I try to be a good partner, and so. Yeah. Uh, I, and then I'm afraid that people are like, this guy's a big fucking teddy bear of a sweet big cunt. Puss. I'm going to check out his pod, and then it's just us oh. talking about raping children and punching sure. dogs. and yeah, uh, retard boners, yeah, you name it. Yeah, but, licking ass. and Yeah, yeah, queefs and Jews. But, but, oh, go ahead. Queefs and Jews. Uh, <laughs> just saying, I talked to a couple POCs. Sure. People of uh, cunts. And they said, I could tell, and they're fans of the show. They're like, I listen every week. It's so obvious you're joking. You guys are idiots. You're galoots. You're all over the place. You're gooky. You're tooky. Well, yeah, we got a lot of pox. A lot of pox. Chicken pox. They like <laughs> yeah. chicken. Oh, small boy. pox. And, Big uh, cocks on small pox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, you see? We're goo. We're idiots. We're goofs. Yeah, we're goofballs. Yeah, so we don't mean anything. I mean, uh, I don't think uh, you know who. Of SNL uh, not fame. I don't think he meant anything either, but, you know, they always go, well, I, w- I watched it. It wasn't funny. You're like, yeah, yeah, sometimes it's not funny. Right. And maybe it wasn't funny to you, and maybe it was funny to, to that Asian kid. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I, we've talked about this before, obviously, through the years, because a couple a couple times we've ruffled a few feathers. Uh-huh. And uh, I just always assume people are aware that we're kidding. <laughs> I, I, I give people the credit for understanding well, the difference between hate speech and fucking, uh, you know. Well, you know what it is? This is what it is. Because somebody had a great analogy about how UFC, you punch a guy on the mat, you punch him in the face, punch him in the balls, you punch him in the asshole. Sure. You win the fight. You did that. You do that at a library. Uh-huh. You're a lunatic, psycho. And you're like, I know, but in this space... I'm I'm, right. I'm, in, I'm I'm in the fight. It's totally fine. There's a ref. There's a clock. There's an audience. Mm-hmm. But we don't realize that a pod is that space. Yes. But it's just you in your fat dong on a couch. Yes. Shelby's the ref. We yes. have a clock. Yeah. The the weirdo. The Tuesdays of the audience. You know. Yeah. You got a clock and a cock and a Glock. But it doesn't read to them because it's just a fat white guy going. Slur, slur, slur. So they go, oh, this guy's doing a political rant. Well, that's what's frustrating, too, is, well, it's not, I, I think about our show. I mean, I, I can't speak for Shane, but it's like, it gets posted out there. And you're like, well, it's not for you. Sure. The people that are like, this is appalling. This is insane. You're like, I know, well, you weren't supposed to hear it. Right. It was our secret little basement hang here yeah. for the people that enjoy that kind of thing. Uh-huh. And we're, we're good guys. We just enjoy some irreverent humor. Yeah, I was hanging out with men and women. 
and somewhere in between, I think some trans and some bi's and some tries and thighs. Mm-hmm. But we were all hanging out at the, the club last night, and we were saying horrific, I know. horrific jokes. And we were all howling, men, women, POC, whitey, honky, uh, spook, spade, the whole <laughs> lot of them. And we're all having a great time. And I was like, if this any of this was recorded, we'd all go straight to jizz hell. That's all, and they go. That's all I ever think about. Yeah, and I'm like, well, how come we're laughing, but people could go, this is not funny to you, come and, guzzling Nazi. And I think there's more people that find it funny than aren't. Yeah, that don't. Yes. And what's so crazy to me is like, I align with all these people politically. I'm like, if we had a same, conversation same. about race and, uh, you know... Gay marriage, um, weed, uh, pl- pl- climate change. Socioeconomics, I'd be like, I know, it's crazy. and yeah. uh, But uh, I just, like I said, I trust that people understand that we're fucking goofing around. It's so clear. But then, <laughs> um, then, and this is, I tweeted this today, It not it ironic how whenever somebody, I don't know if it is irony, don't you think? It's but hard to figure out what irony is. It is, it is. I think it's I'll, 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 irony. Be, I'll be the judge of this. I'll be the ref. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. Get the rape whistle out. So <laughs> I think... Uh, Wouldn't it be funny to have a rape whistle that went... <laughs> like a slide whistle? Yeah, but rape? like a, a sexy one. Yeah, like a, that's like the hot chick. Oh, the wolf whistle, they call that. Oh, is that right? <laughs> but the whoop, whoop, <laughs> yeah. that's like sex. It'd be yeah. funny that that was the rape whistle. Oh, yeah. You know, you do that sound with like a girl with tits walks by, you go... <laughs> uh-huh. That'd be funny if that was the you, sound you flip it. your like, rape whistle makes. Like the N-word, you take it. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. I suppose. I guess. Not sure that's what I was saying. Uh, I hear you. I get it though. All right, but wait, sorry, okay. go ahead. So Uh oh, the thing's blinking. Look, no, it's gonna turn what does off. That mean? I don't know. Our our camera's blinking. My card is full. Oh suck me sideways. I got an idea. What do we do? All right, Mark's yeah. off the mic for a moment here. You have an idea. Do you have another memory card? I do. Okay, so what I knew something was up. That's probably why it turned off last week. Yeah. Or earlier this week. Hmm. There's two in there. You think, uh, Hold on. Get this mic up your ass so people can keep hearing you. Oh, okay. We got a big Griswold knot here. <laughs> you can see it on camera. Uh, let me try that. This is uh, dead. What did you, you just flip it around? Or another? Well, there's two in there, but they, I think it only uses memory card A. Ah. Is it like a, a tape? You, the side A and side B? It's not blinking. I think we might be okay. Little lights. They're not twinkling, Clark. All right, let's try. Mark's back. I don't know if we're keeping that audio. You think we should keep the audio? Yeah, why okay, not? Okay, People okay. like it. It was 10 seconds. In your mind, it's like sex. In your mind, that it was like a half hour where we were goofing. Uh-huh. Nothing was happening. Yep. But uh, in reality, that was like seven seconds. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's seven seconds in heaven. Seven cents, okay. Vern. So uh, back to the, the cancel culture. Uh, by the way, by the way, people always say white people have no culture. We got cancel culture. We invented that. We got a lot of culture. I know. I but that's what people say. Huh. Um, so yes, a lot of times these people, the guy who does the unearthing or the digging, they the, call it. And, sure. And they they expose your you know slur Generals. or whatever. Yeah, journalism, quote unquote. That's what it's come to. If you if you go back and search this cum stain stuff. They, then he's got something. Yeah. Well, we're all human, you, you twats. You got to realize we all have flaws. We've all done horrible shit. You know, I always equate it to when you're a teenager and you go, fuck you, mom. I hope you die. I hate you. I hate you. You don't hate your mom. You don't want her to die. Oh. But you say things in the moment. You get keyed up. You get all juiced. Nobody hates their mom except for the people whose their mother beat them and finger fucked them or whatever. Yeah, maybe the Menendez. Oh, yeah. They, they seem to dislike her. Oh, for sure. boy. Well, they got a uh, diddle daily. Oh, is that right? Oh! I don't know much about the Menendez. Oh, they anally raped and uh, jerked and stuff, the whole thing. I'd kill somebody if they anally raped me. Sure, sure, sure. I'd try to, anyways. So, uh, <laughs> well, we'll see after the show. <laughs> and uh, so, but they always find something. So I feel like cancel is the new smelt it dealt it. Oh. You know what I mean? Because, like, why are you so hung up on jizzing up my kumquat if you've got some queefs in your tomato salad? And you deny it, you supply it. That also works. Right. Well, I think also they get, this is what bothers me about the thing, is a lot of the, those people uh, that are doing that, a lot of it's intent. Like to me, yes, intent. the intent of the comedian was was to be funny, sure, and to bring joy. Speaking for myself, at least, or ourselves, 
the intent to these people is to damage that person's career and reputation. Yes. Because I don't believe they actually think they're bettering the world. They want likes and to move their stature up. They're mm. trying to get fans and more blogs or newspapers or whatever that's their motive i don't think they actually think they're making the world a better place no by keeping shane gillis off snl i don't think that maybe they do think that maybe they're that delusional though i mean a lot of these people are wackadoo right but i just don't i think that their motivation is to um further their uh careers yeah yeah oh for sure well we we reward these idiots so heavily you know like you're a hero that word by the way has been completely fucked out but like you're 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 saving us you're doing the lord's work you're doing the right thing you're on the right side of history blah 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 and so people the the you know they always say like you know in the future we're gonna evolve to have different thumbs because of the phones oh is that right i never heard that yeah it's some theory i think we're gonna have a new muscle in our arm from the back padding we're doing on ourselves oh all right. Uh, it's, 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 it's a, you know, yeah. what do you call it, an anecdote? That's an anecdote. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being folksy. All right, it was, <laughs> it was folksy. That's, I, mean, I don't think that's real. I'm just making a goof. I think that part we should edit out. Uh, <laughs> that stunk. Uh, I never heard the thumb business. That's a thing. All right. I mean, it's half uh, facetial or facial or whatever it is, but... Uh, I wonder if eventually our wives... This one's going to be as bad as that back cutting. <laughs> I wonder if our wives' fingers will grow into a curve from reaching around and sticking their fingers oh. in our butts. That's the only way we come. That's not bad. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe that's the back thing was decent. I, I like the back thing, so I like that one too. That's the dirty version. All right. That's the B room. The back not? was okay, sure. All right, he's on board. Now. I just don't know that they're literally patting their back. Well, that's the joke. It's a joke. They're not actually doing that. Oh, I it's, see. Uh, it's a goof. Anecdote. I don't know if that is an anecdote, even. Anecdote's a story. It was anti-something. Anti-Semitic. Funny. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Semitics are funny. (laughs) Oh, well, I don't want to say that. That's funny. I was was doing, um, I did the guys we fucked. I'm really plugging the hell out of this show. (laughs) Apparently. It's a hell of a program. (laughs) Um, People like it. (laughs) But uh, I was telling the story about uh, getting warts taken off my cock at Planned Parenthood. Sure, I love the PP. And that's why I donate monthly, folks. Don't cancel. Now, and why aren't you more public with that? I'm, huh? I'm quite public. Okay. This is public. We got some listeners. All right. Public restroom. I keep keep trying to grow the show, by the way. I'm like, maybe it's perfect right where it is. I agree. The like, Ari syndrome. I want to be less famous. like to grow that Patreon, folks. Sign up for it. Yes. So we're making some changes to the Patreon. It's going to be awfully enticing. But anyways, what I was saying, I'm like, Planned Parenthood, I donate. I love them because they took warts off my dick. And I was like, I don't even care about women's issues. And then Corinne was like, sound clip. Uh-huh. That's the thing with podcasts. They could just cut anything. Wow. And you could just show me going, I don't even care about women's issues. I don't even care about women's issues. I don't even care. Like, right, just a loop. Right, right. And wow, then uh, right. next thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire, which I thought they could do a compilation of us saying horrible things. But Burr brought up the point, which I've been bringing up. Yeah. You could also, I, don't, I can't say this for Shane Gillis. I don't know. I don't listen to his program. I don't even know him that well. But the times good. I've talked to him, I like him. Good guy. Funny hilarious guy. Hilarious comedian. Good uh, comic. Hilarious guy. Big fat face. Yeah, he's a big dumb head. Yeah, but um, he's a he's a he's a Bluto type. Mmm. Shawshank. Popeye. Popeye. Yeah. Wasn't he, I think he was Brutus at one point. I think we talked oh, about this. Yeah. I think he was Brutus I at one point right. and Bluto at another point. It's kind of yeah. like different Vivians. Yes, the 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 Fresh Prince mom. Yeah, they thought we weren't going to notice. They were like, America thinks blacks look alike. We'll just switch in a new mom. I, I noticed. I, ca- I caught it when my mom changed. <laughs> That was a whole different kind of... She's a man now. Weekend. Yes, transition. But anyways, I was going to say something about... Shit. Guys oh, you could also put together oh. a compilation of me saying, hey, you got to vote for Liz Warren, you fucking we gotta idiots. Save the planet. And you got to get the environment the and the Planned Parenthood and, yeah. and suck your own dick and eat your mother out. Sure, there's a lot of that, which but is very nice. No one's interested in that compilation. Why not? Because, once again, we reward the digging. We reward the guy kicking people out of comedy or whatever the hell it is. Well, the negative sells tickets. It gets the tweets, it gets the thumbs, it gets the clicks. Clicks. It's the same with the news. You watch MSNBC, it's fucking... And Iraq, uh, Iran war, and uh, climate change, Great and your mother's know, cunt, and whatever. They're never yeah. like, okay, three guys helped an old lady across the street. You know, Doug Smith broke up a rape, and sure, uh, sure, whatever, whatever. About, and that's why that should be a show. The good news. I was just gonna say, how about that as an ad or a, a channel? Well, that's what I've been saying is uh, email me the good and happy stories, but that you can't even find them. 
Right. I like a hopeful story, and, and that's ongoing, by the way. If you read a nice hopeful story, shoot it up my asshole up and see if I like it. I think you got some here, Fat Man, because that the these viral videos, half of them, sure, it's a it's a Jewish kid slipping on ice or something, or mm-hmm. a guy getting kicked in the balls by a Shetland pony, but. A lot of them, 10 million, 20 million, 30 million views of some fat, chunky lady giggling. And she's like, <laughs> and we're loving it because, like, yeah, she's having a good, she's wearing a Chewbacca mask or, or is it, there's a kid hugging a dog or a baby's riding a sheep or something. Right. We love it because they go, oh, we're just inundated with all this gruesome horror and shit. Well, recently there was a big viral where there was a black kid and a white kid. They jumped oh, and hugged. I mean, I, I cried and shit my pants. But, perfect um, example. The pants shit was unrelated. I had some. Tacos. I saw one guy put a Antonio Brown and uh, Tom Brady's head on the white and the black kid, and they ran toward each oh, other. Oh, that's fun. It was fun. That Antonio Brown's a bit of a kook. Now, what's that about? He's I don't know. He's got some rape allegations, Ooh. and he was farting in a doctor's face. He's a bit he's a bit strange. This guy. Wait, farting and oh dog. Now I like him again. Yeah, there was a video that just came out a couple days ago where the doctors I think he's shaving his belly or giving him a SUV or what do you call that? Uh, STD? Ultraviolet. What do you call that? The pregnant lady. Oh, sir, no. Uh, they look shit. at the baby. They put the gel on. Oh, who hold put, on. Who told you put the bomb on? I got this. It's a UV. Something ultraviolet. No, no. Ultrasound. Ultrasound. It's an ultrasound. That's I the think one. they were giving an ultrasound or jerking him off something, but he, he queefed right in the doctor's face. Oh, and he's fun. like, sorry, I had a lot of fiber. And the doctor's like, woo. Yeah, it was fun. It's silly. But I think he might have raped people. I'm not sure. Oh, boy. I didn't know about that. Well, I haven't read the thing. So I might get tweeted being like he's innocent you fuck or right. we might get tweets being like you shouldn't be talking about his farts because he raped someone sure i gotta be I, i'm a little ignorant i haven't read any of the business but i know there are definitely rape allegations so we could ask the lady upstairs but she'll give us a whole queef soliloquy on that the lady upstairs soliloquy uh, oh i thought you were calling god like I the man upstairs no i don't want to say her name because she'll chime in like a oh douche. she doesn't know about rape uh, she Other than what she's witnessed in this apartment. But, uh, <laughs> she might have gotten raped by Siri. Um, All right. Maybe they scissor. They sear. Uh, oh, yeah. That's but funny. anyways, you know, it's better off. For Shane, he's better off. Now he's a martyr. He'll go on, you know, Bill Maher and Bill right. Martyr. What is martyr? I pretend to know what that means. Martyr is someone that dies for a cause. Oh. Uh, Oh, boy, you put it. I've read the definition. I didn't get it, and that's a perfect little uh, summation. That sounds like a gunshot out there. Yeah, uh, well. I, they may not have to die. I mean, I get, every time I say something, I'm afraid people are going to tweet and be like, you fucking idiot, you don't have to right. die. But I believe it's official. Originally, it was dying for a cause. I don't want to be a, a martyr, right. nor I. That's right. Braveheart, you know. It just sounds so a, a martyr. You know, it sounds like an old yeah. timey Middle Ages thing. Accidentally, like a martyr by Warren Zevon, one of my favorite songs of all time. Ooh. We made mad love, shadow love, random love, and abandoned love. Ooh, we accidentally, like a martyr. The work, the hurt gets worse and the heart gets harder. Oh, nice! It's a beautiful song. I He's like dead. that. That Zevon's good stuff. Now let me let me throw this one at you there. Sure, Sloppy stick Jalopy. it up my ass and see if I come. Now that song's probably what 1982. Yeah, 70s earlier, 74 probably. Wow, that early. Okay, 73 maybe. All right, so. Uh, you know that song. You were born in what, 80, 82? 80, 80, 82. Okay, so every young person I know, girlfriend included, uh-huh. knows nothing from the year seven on, like when she was seven. Ah. And I'm like, well, how come I know stuff from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and I was born in the 80s, and you don't know anything from 1992? Well, she's into that. What do you mean? I mean, you're into that. She's not into that. I feel like most people our age know they've seen Ghostbusters. Well, that was 84. Hold on. They've seen Mean Streets. They've seen... Uh, no, no one's seen Mean well, Streets. Maybe not Mean Streets. They've seen Cuckoo's Nest. Right. They've seen, yeah, Cuckoo's Nest, maybe. The All Godfather. Right. Uh-huh. Mean the Streets Godfather, is a yes. little bit, yeah. Uh, but, well, but we're into movies. Uh-huh. But some people, some people haven't seen The Godfather. You mean people that are like, I never saw it. Brendan Sagalow, that fucking pimple, he never saw The Godfather. Yeah, he's out to lunch. I don't think he's seen his dick. <laughs> well, that's a different problem. That's true. He's a he's kid, eating kid. his dick. I've seen. <laughs> Wait, really? I've seen that oh, quite a bit. Oh yeah, he's eating oh. a hot one on there. Uh, but just kidding, he's hilarious. Yeah, but he really uh, is. Yeah, he's a funny guy. But yeah, all right, all right. But I think that 
Maybe, because I brought this up to a young cat in Irvine. We we got in this big fight. I'm like, how come you don't know anything? A cat? Was he a musician? He was a jazz uh, sax player. Uh, Sounds black. Was he black? No, he was a young Asian kid. He was a good kid. He was a comic. I forget his name. I think they eat cat. I think it's dog. Ah, shit. But yeah, he was was working with me in Irvine. Great (laughs) club, great city or whatever, great people. Thanks for coming out, folks. So he's working with me, and... He's like, I don't know, 26, Okay. funny guy, nice kid, whatever, but he didn't know anything. I was like, have you seen this? No, have you seen it? Goonies? No. And then we'd go music. No. Zeppelin? No. Uh, Stones? Not much. Beatles? I don't know. And he's like, what about this DJ Queefin' Dick? And I'm like, I don't know who that is. So he knows all the new. I don't know any of the new, but he doesn't know any of the old. I'm like, how do you, what about like New Heart? Or, obviously, he's in the comedy, Dangerfield. He's like, I right. know who he is. And I'm like, oh, that's geez. crazy. That's, I think that's a newer thing. Yeah, maybe. Well, we're also uh, something. We're off, you know. We're all obsessed with weird shit. Like, I've always had, like, a um, like a like an unusual obsession with the 70s, even when I was young. I remember yeah. when I met Quinn for the first time, name drop, he was like, this, it's bizarre how much you know about the '70s. Oh, he said bizarre. Yeah, he's like, this is this is strange. Like, right. I have like a a deep. It, it seems like I'm from the '70s. Uh huh. Like I know the films and the music and B sides and retrocks, but that's what I was into. Yeah. But I don't know shit about fucking house music or anything. No, I don't either. Or I hate uh, house. you know, the movie and the the show and the music. Yeah, the show stinks. The yeah. movie stinks. That guy's British, by the way. Who? I don't even know a guy. <laughs> oh, the limpy uh, cripple Hugh Laurie. No, see, you know more than me about okay. house. I got, I got nothing about house. I think house. it's Hugh Laurie. Yeah, he's, sure. uh, he's British, but he plays an American, and it's hard. To, he does a he does a good job. But Hugh Laurie and Hugh Hardy. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Jesus. P. Hugh. So, uh, <laughs> so then, so then he had a good point. Josh Potter was featuring. He had a good point. Love Potter. Funny guy. Good guy. Can't Smoking see. Pot. He works on. Uh, your mom's house. Yes. See, that's a good house. And uh, Dr. Drew. And Dr. Drew, which I'm doing in a, in a week. But yeah, he goes, uh, well, you got to realize, back then we had so few options. When Sanford and Son came on at 2 a.m. and you were watching TV, you just watched it. Oh, interesting even, point. So now you have so many options, so why would you go backwards? There's so much new yes. coming out. Everyone's like, you got to see this. And then the people want to be part of the zeitgeist exactly. conversation. Exactly, but there's a lot. There's podcasts and shows and Netflix and movies and music. That's the answer, I think. When I we think had today, right. we had a VHS with nine videos. You had to watch that and then seek out. Exactly. Let's go to Blockbuster and be like, I got to see this. Right. But we also have the... I have a personality type where if I see... I watch Goodfellas. I'm like, this is so incredible. What else did this guy make? That's how. That's what I I'm said. Like, I gotta watch Mean Streets, and then you're like, okay, I watch Mean Street, and then you're like, well, De Niro's in that. Let me watch The Godfather. And I'm like, I gotta see Coppola. I gotta watch the fucking Outsiders. Same. Not great. Same. Uh, Outsiders stinks. It's and not then, good. It's a good uh, photo of that era, like a good time capsule. Yeah, I suppose. I guess, but it's not a great movie. Yeah, Coppola is weird because he made. Like four of the best movies ever, like like Godfather, Godfather Two, The Conversation, Apocalypse Now, and then everything since is a little you rough. Didn't, you didn't like Born on the Fourth, was that him? No, that's Oliver Stone. He uh, made Rumple Rumplefish. Yeah, Rumple Mints, <laughs> and uh, that one's <laughs> wacky. It's okay. Outsiders, I think, stinks. And then like there's like Dracula, The Rainmaker. Ooh, it's a lot of like ew. yeah, yeah, kind of whatever. Godfather Three, I hate. Sure, but uh, we all do. Anyways. But genius, I love reading him and listening to him. And they said he, he said uh, in an interview, he's like, I can't get a movie made now. He's like, if I get a mob, if it's a mob movie, they'll make it. But that's it. Right, right. That's well, he hit that great uh, thing I talked about oh, uh, live. Sorry, I got reflux. Oh, right. I had a waffle earlier. The cobble. I had a waffle with syrup. It's bad. Gobble, gobble. Oh, I hate myself. Oh, uh, yeah. Can't, I got no food discipline. I can't do well, it. Well, it's tough. It's like alcohol. I just can't do it. You're I'm doing like, that. I'll feel for three days. I'll feel good. The worst thing that can happen to me is I feel okay. Yeah. Because then I'm like, I'm going to have a chocolate bar and uh, a Chipotle and a well, yeah, we had a you know, scoop of ice cream yesterday. I had that treat. Ice cream was no good. It, I had ice cream for fun, and that was no good. And then I had a waffle today. I almost uh, texted you yesterday about that. It's no good. It's bad. I'm, I'm, I'm fluxing up here. Not, I can't not eat a waffle with maple syrup and butter. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty damn good. I'm a piece of shit. Well, can you, you can't really, uh, what do you call it, moderate, where you have like, 
That's why I say that, though. Let's get half a waffle. No, I know. I'm a drunk. Yeah, you wanted to split a waffle. Yeah. Like, it won't work. It's no good. It's, yeah. it's it's bad news bears. But they don't have meetings. They have overeaters. But if I show up in overeaters, they'll fucking they'll sit on my face <laughs> and kill me. <laughs> That's Can you bit. imagine if I walked in? That's hilarious. That could be a bit. That's gold. Because I got a good metabolism. This is why I do uh, relate to... By the way, I was like, I was like you got to check out this Bill Maher... Uh, fucking uh, monologue about fat people and like it's great and then right. I realized it's like controversial everyone oh. hates him people want him to die he's getting canceled Corden did like a very special episode about <laughs> it I'm like Jesus he's getting me three isn't that the worst but, like you don't realize I'm like you gotta see this thing it's great and everyone's like it's problematic right, it's shit. Right. and I was like oh, I had no idea but I do relate to, to, to weight struggle because I've always had a great metabolism but I can't not eat I eat shit I'm eating cookies every day soda 20 a day and Not I had anymore. to get silent retard before I quit. Right, right. Those quiet re's are the worst. But the but uh, the wa I can't not get a waffle. I just had a waffle at a diner. To today? Today, earlier today. To, to, to today, Junior. All kinds of syrup, and it cost me about twenty five bucks. I had a I got a waffle, and then they give you the it says maple syrup dollar fifty. What? But they give you th- something called breakfast syrup. And uh, what's that? The packets? It's packets. And uh, it, there's no. I read the ingredients. Hate a packet. It said caramel coloring, Ooh, corn no syrup, good. high fructose corn syrup, Uh-oh. sugar, and uh, your mother's twat. And I'm like, well, this doesn't even have any maple. No maple. So if you want real maple, it's a dollar fifty. So maple. I call the guy over. I went, hey, Paco, let me get a little uh, maple. Ay, 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 that was his actual name, by the way. Uh-huh. If you don't cancel me for that. That was yes. his name tag. I got a witness. Maple. So I said, uh, that was his wife's name. <laughs> So I said, uh, maple bring culture. me over the maple syrup. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So uh, Mape picked him. He came over. <laughs> Statutory Mape. Mape whistle. Hey! So he comes over. <laughs> he brings the, the quintessential, not quintessential, authentic Colin Mape. Colin quintessential. Oh, we got a fucking ad, by the way. I just oh, really, I forgot the ad. We got to add that. But uh, <laughs> So he brings over the, the authentic Mape, and it's in a jar the size of my dick on a cold day. It's like oh. a teeny... Yeah. Jar. That's a buck fifty. And he says it's a buck fifty. He goes, You want one or two? And I wanted to say, I want ten of them. Of course. And so I go, I'll give me give me two of them. I'll take two maples. And I got them with my buddy. And she's like, whoa, it's just gonna be a thousand bucks. Yeah. So I go, uh, give me give me two maples. He brings them over and they're the size of a thimble. Oh, that's cruel. So it's an extra bucks and it's a it's a mid town diner so the waffle's 15 now it's right. 18 bucks oh. and i still don't have you've seen me eat a waffle i yeah. drown the thing oh you get in it's katrina waverly is the only place to uh get a waffle around here i've learned so yeah. anyways i ended up pouring the fake syrup on top of the real syrup cost me 25 bucks Jeez, and Louise. now i'm flexing all over the place you're an addict you had to get the extra crack hit it's gross but uh, i'll tell you what's not gross oh, i got it tell them about the ad thing you got it are you looking for a natural deodorant that doesn't use aluminum by the I way sure his email am. is hilarious <laughs> i sure am all right i know that making that change can be hard you don't want to try something that doesn't work because then you'll stink yep. even if it is all natural pu well i got a great new sponsor to tell you about we have a great new sponsor to tell you about Thank and you. it's native deodorant native creates safe safe space safe simple effective products and native has over eight thousand wow. five star reviews that's a lot of reviews so you know how it works especially for deodorant yeah native deodorant doesn't contain aluminum parabens or talc wow it's hard to not get talc anymore instead, talc stinks instead it's filled with ingredients found in nature coconut oil tapioca starch shea butter Woo, nice less is more with native baby they have fewer simpler ingredients that you actually know plus they have a they have something for everyone. Native comes in a wide array of scents for men and women like coconut, vanilla, lavender and rose, and cucumber and mint. Ooh, yes. I love that. They sent us some of this. I'm loving it. I'm not even kidding. I put it on every day. I used to use uh, a different deodorant. I don't want to name names, sure. but I would find myself still perspiring. Yes. A lot of sweat Same. driplets coming down, and now I'm using this native. I put it on, I go to yoga. I perspire, but not in a bad way, not yes. in a stinky way. I yes. smell terrific, and it's all natural. I love that it's natural love ingredients. Natural. I like being part of the environmental solution. We're helping. There's all the kinds of 
toxic chemicals and whatnots and the other one. Plus, I use it, and I don't know if this is gross, but the lady uses it right after me. No kidding. Yeah, she likes it, and it's you know it's dude Harry Pitt approved and uh, tiny clam approved. Well, so for twenty percent yeah. off your first purchase, visit nativedeodorant.com and use Tuesdays during checkout. That's nativedeodorant.com and use Tuesdays. That's plural during checkout. Here, here. Native deodorant, take yeah. care of your body. You got that right. Native. All right, native. The natives are restless. Yes, and stinkless. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, what the hell were we talking about? We I don't in, even we were know into anymore. The mix I was talking enjoyable. about reflux and syrup. And oh, oh, you were going off on a fucking uh, binge attack. Well, these city, the, these city diners, I went to the Astro Diner. You and I went there together. Astro, that, that's uh, 8th Avenue. 6th Avenue. 6th Avenue. We went after Jim and Sam, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, that a, that's a classic. I, I had a waffle. You took a photo. That's a classic. But uh, was that Jim and Sam? Or it was. was it? it was. Yeah, that feels like it was a long time ago. But you it saved was. the photo. I got the that's photo. That's what it was, because... Because you just posted the photo recently. Yes. But it was a while ago. Right. Well, I went there today, and it cost uh, about 45 bucks. Two people, diner, 45 bucks. You know, it's funny. When I posted that photo the other day, I had like a moment of like, don't send this. He's... He's doing something illegal, but then I was like, oh, wait, it's just going to hurt him. Reflux. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> one's, no one's catching my reflux. I had a quick mental like, wait, no, but uh, then, you know. Yeah, I got a lot of cheat days. I can't, get, I can't discipline. It's so hard. I, I feel like with writing, work... It's hard. Uh, meditate, all this stuff. Anything that's good for me, I, I don't want to do it. Anything that's bad, I do want to do it. They say discipline is freedom. Wow, what's Which that is mean? ironic. But, it, you know, basically it's saying, like, if you just don't do the thing you, you're dying to do, just don't do it. Like, that, and then you're free. Ah. But, but I want to do it, but just don't. Like, right. just not. And then, you know, you, I, wanna, I don't want to write. If you do the writing, you did it. Now you're free. You feel better. You right. feel better, and it's it's harder on the jump, but once you do it, you're better. But the problem is with treats like that. This is where it's a little different because I feel that way. Just just do it. Now you're free, but right. my freedom makes me want to get a waffle. Right. Like I'll right, go to right. work out. I'll do a workout class. I'll do yoga. I'll meditate. And then I'm like, you know what? I earned some stuff. Right. I, I do that with like with um, I don't like to talk about AA too much because people take it serious, but with sure. recovery situations, I'll put some time in mm. and I feel so good and I'm like, I don't drive and drank in a year. I'm doing yeah. great. And I went and did some active recovery. Let me get a waffle. Yeah, you earned it. And uh, all of a sudden, old Jed's a millionaire and uh, I'm covered in syrup. I think I did that Jed's a millionaire twice, which is yeah, tough. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe up it too because maybe Jed's a billionaire because I feel like inflation. Yeah, these days, Jed, uh, whatever. Maybe I'll try some AA. I need some new batteries. Yeah, that's a good time. <laughs> all right. D. Get a D battery. <laughs> that was a D joke. Uh, maybe an F. But uh, yeah. So a couple, troop. couple nuggets. If I got if some nugs, oh. too. Get some nugs. Are you, Throw out a nug. Are you out of Europe yet? I got a whole bunch of oh. Europe, but I'm having fun just shooting the breeze All and right. chewing the fat. Do you prefer chewing the breeze or... Wait. Shooting I, the breeze, chewing the fat. I like chewing the fat better, but I think that might be a little shamey now with yeah. the fat cordon. Oh, in my drinking oh. days, I chewed some fat quite a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, fat labia. And she never came. I just kept chewing. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> nothing, nothing on that plate but grizzling fat. <laughs> Uh, great outdoors, John Hughes. Um, um, not his best. Not his best, but it had moments. It, there was moments. They, that was when he let Candy play a little bit. Love Candy. Candy and Ack Roy. Back I when want he was Candy. Saying, I want Candy. Why, is he no good? Is he crazy now? Oh, he's all Bigfoot and uh, oh, no kidding. the Rapture. He's off on the deep end. <laughs> he is a Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's yeah. big like Texas. He's a kook. Something about people getting rich and famous. People really kook out. SNL. Kook out. That sounds hungry. I'm hungry. I could use one barbecue. A nice kook out. Yeah. All right. So, uh, well, one thing I just want to say, I did Irvine. I'm such a cock dick cheese whiz. I fly out to Irvine, five hour delay. Oh, oh you hate that! I'm sitting oh. in the. Uh, I got up at five in the morning for a seven a.m. flight. Ooh, you know you haul ass to JFK. I hate JFK. You mm. get to JFK. It's, I, I liked him, but I get why people don't like him. I'm an RFK fan. Love but, RFK. Yes. Uh, so I get out there, 
Five hours delay, and you go, the whole time you're just going, that was an hour, that was an hour I could have slept, that was an hour. And then you want to sleep in the airport, but you can't. Yeah, you can't. They put the arms up on the chairs so you can't sleep. I know, I know. Who told you to put the bomb on? So That's two of those, by the way. Is that two of those? Yeah, you're on doubles. You're I like got, a Serena. I got too many waffles here. All right. <laughs> I got junior mint gum. Hey, can I do something that's been bothering me? Oh. can I? There's something on your arm I want to take oh, it off. Oh, hit me. I, it's a thumbnail or uh, something. I think it's a mole. Maybe it's a feather, Maybe string, it's cancer. period. I don't uh, know what it is, but it was right. really throwing my eyes well, into a twitch. Thanks for pulling the strings. So uh, I get out there finally, and it, it was a five-hour flight. Uh, how about this one? I got this guy next to me, like a finance guy. He keeps shuffling his seat. You could tell he's always had first class, mm. and now he's in the back in the barn with me. Was it Louie? <laughs> no, he's a good-looking guy. Oh, he's got a right. suit on and the whole thing. Although he right. went suit, yeah, but, but full head of hair, like not those good-looking, like rounded glass frames. You know, like cool, oh, uh, fashion, horn-rimmed, horn. Oh, yes, garbage juice. horns. So he goes, uh, ah, God, he can't get comfortable. He's, he's he's overdoing it, like letting me know, like God, I hate this seat. Nah, maybe he's coked up. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. It's early. I don't want to cast dispersions. Sure, sure. Although I do enjoy casting a dispersion. I like casting. I mean, you got to cast. Central How you gonna, casting. I can put the movie together. So, so uh, okay, so we get on the plane. Uh, it's 30 minutes delay. Now everybody deboard. Now we're deboarding the whole thing. No board. Deboarding is the worst. Then I go, just give it to me straight, man. I go up to the guy at the counter, the Indian guy. I'm like, just give it to me straight. Are we canceling this puppy? And he goes, I don't know. I, don't, I yeah. can't say. I can't say. Cancel culture. Yep. And then an hour later, still nothing. And here comes the snack cart. Ah, oh, boy. Kiss of death. Yep. Here come the Oreos and the Doritos and the Cheerios and the Paleos. You never want to see an Oreo. No. The better the snacks, the worse the delay. Aha. Uh -huh. If they bring a pretzel, it's like 20 minutes. They bring out a fucking... <laughs> A hot dog and a filet mignon. Right. You're, you're moving there. They got a pig on a spit. Forget about it. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit. It's kinda, you got two killers. It feels a little hacky. What's the other one? You got the, the Overeaters and on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to go in big. there. I walk. <laughs> that's big. No you're, pun yeah, intended. This is what you do. You this, trick me. That's big. I'm jealous. You're I telling mean, me I'm going to go to an open mic and do it, and they're going to fucking boo me well, off stage. You got to hone. You got to tweak. <laughs> I don't want to hone. You can't just go up there talking like this, but I'm just saying. I hate a hone, here's by the, the way. Here's the... You do hate a hone. Hones are big. I'm not honing. I like it to be good right off no, the bat or else I leave. That has nothing to do with hone. Yeah, hone alone. Yeah, yeah phone hone. <laughs> so, um, you show up. What was it? Oh, yeah, this is the beauty of that bit. It's the only meeting where you can tell by the appearance. What? You show up looking. You're like. Oh, a, oh wait. I thought, you, I thought we were back oh, to the snack no, thing. No, I'm talking about the bit. You show up as a string bean, glasses, weird teeth. They go, hey, he could be a drunk. What do I know? But you show up as a string bean, glasses, weird teeth, an anonymous eater. They go, right. this guy's a full of shit. Yes. Good that's, point. That's the that's the meat of it. And good point. Don't eat the meat. Eat meat. Yeah. <laughs> wait, I had a thought. Meat Hold on breed. one second. The E.T., the snack. Oh, the snack bit. Yes. At the airport reminds me of this guy, Tom Gilmore, a great comic from Boston who was a little nutty, but hilarious. Guy, big Gil. He uh, he had a bit about so great. One of my favorite bits. Maybe it's been done. He's like the newscaster. That as the news gets worse, he loose. He starts loosening his oh, tie. That's funny. And then he's like, cause like nine eleven. Like they would take their jacket off. Uh, he's like, one time I turned on the news, the guy was shirtless. I just ran for my life. Uh, something something uh, like that. But it was really it was great. honed. Yes. But it is funny. Like they'll start. With 9-11, like, you know, Peter Jennings had, like, a fucking a top hat and a right. sports bra right. on. Right, like a monocle. The top hat didn't make sense. Oh, okay. But, because why would he... Put it, more hat take, on. No, yeah, yeah. Shirtless. But anyways, it was a great bit. All right, so get back there. You're at yeah. the snacks. So Kiss the, the snack. death. So now I'm, I, I text the manager. Now I'm like, okay, it's over. So I, and, I, and now you start going... Hey, look, I tried. I'll go tomorrow. Like, what more can I do? The flights aren't happening. It's cross-country, folks. It's almost the liberating. The show's tonight. Yeah, it was a, th it was a Friday, Saturday, four-show gig back Sunday. Love so, those. I love them, too, yeah. So, But the cross-country is such a cum stain. Oh, uh, it stinks. Fuck it. Cum town. You get the miles. Yeah, yeah. So I call, I text my manager. Hey, man, it doesn't look good. Uh, just you might want to let the club know. And he goes, ah, well, keep me posted. You know, now it's like, it's like 7 a.m. over there. And he's like, yeah, keep me posted, but that's a bummer. What are you going to do? All right. So then I, I'm, I'm picking out on snacks. I had like eight bags of fruit snacks. Sure. Not to rub it in. And uh, so then the guy go like an hour goes by and he goes, good news. We fixed the problem. Hey. So now we reboard 
But I think we'd fluffed off a couple Jews because they were going, well, this is five hours. I, I love gotta, that. I love a fluff. Yeah, get out of here, Jews. Fluffy. So That's a sound clip right there. Oh, yeah, you see? Get out of here, Jews. I don't care about women's issues. There you go. <laughs> You're on a roll. So everybody gets back on. Now there's this... There's three people fighting behind me, just like, why are you? Don't touch me. That's my arm. Red by, you know, they're fighting. The, 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 the emotions are high. I it's see. Tense. And this fat lady, heavy set. What do you call it? Person of weight. You know, she's like a big <laughs> a lady. <pow. laughs> That's what the seat sound made. So, uh, so she's going, don't touch me, by. And she's in the middle seat. You can tell she's peeved. Oh. All of a sudden, the, a the pow in the middle seat's no oh, good. Oh yeah, yeah. Prisoner of war. So the guy comes up, the flight attendant guy, the gay guy in the vest goes, uh, "Excuse me, sir," and he's pointing to my yuppie chum in my middle seat. He's I got going, you. Uh, Can you come with me? And he goes, mm. "Yeah, sure." So then Fatty McGee behind me goes, "What's up with that seat in the middle?" Oh no! I know, and I'm I'm thinking this is something. This, maybe this guy's not coming back. I got a free seat. What she want with your seat? She just hated her guy. That's why they were fighting oh, next to her. God, she hated him. I don't can't imagine she's gonna like you. I, I guess not. Not with the nicknames I'm giving her. So <laughs> so I go, oh, uh, some yuppie sitting here. He just walked away. I don't know. I don't. I'm just. I don't know. And she goes. Well, you can't. What are you saving the seat? I go. I'm just saying he might come back. And she was very scary. Saving the seat. What is this school lunch? I know. I go, hey, I don't point. know what to tell you. So he got bumped to first class. Uh, is what bump. happened. He went from middle to first class. Middle East to you know Beverly Hills. That's the best bump up of all time. Well, he did a bump. So he's up there. So I think she caught wind of this and then passed wind and then she sat next to me. So now my flight's ruined because oh. I got Delta Burke sitting next to me. <laughs> So better than United Burke. That airline stinks. <laughs> so uh that that was, that, was good. that was that flight. That was good. And then <laughs> shows were great. Killer club, by the way. Though the the Brea improv, Irvine improv, killer rooms. Oh, I did it with Sal Volcano. Oh, how great was that? It was pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty great. Lunch. Good guy. Yeah, Sal's a good he egg. He used to listen. I don't think he listens anymore. Yeah, well, he's a busy Jew. Sal, if you listen to this, text me. Puerto Rican, actually, I, I think. I don't think we'll be hearing from him. Or I tell. Maybe he's a mix. Half half Sicilian. Ah! Just like you, I think. That's right. Yeah, he's got some Italian in there. But I think he's a little Greek. I think oh, he's Italian he Greek? and Greek, I believe. He All likes right. anal. Yeah, Jimmy the Greek. So, uh, fine, whatever. Shows are great. And then this is, this is where I thought of you. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm on no sleep. <laughs> Whatever you get a you get a wink on the plane. You know you know the, the thing when you're at the hotel and you go ah, I just need a nap. I just get give me ten minute nap and I'll give me something because I'm on like two hours. Sure. And it's three hour delay, three hour behind, whatever you call it. So mm -hmm. it's like nine, you know, where I'm living. Gotcha. So I'm all, it's hit me hard. I'm chugging coffee, nothing's working. I go just give me a quick queef of a nap, and I can't fall asleep. Whatever, and I go. Just gotta get through two shows, two shows, a meet and greet. Just get through it, baby. Have, you know, have good shows, but just get it in. Mm -hmm. Then do the shows. Josh Potter, everybody kills. We all have a great time. I go back home early. Conk, wake up. I sleep for ten hours. Wow. Wake up, and I go. Here we go. I've never felt so refreshed. I go straight to Laguna Beach. Oh, my honeymoon. Is that right? That's right. How sweet is that beach? I love it. Well, there's a specific beach at Laguna, because Laguna Beach is like the name of the town, uh -huh. but there's several beaches, and the Thousand Step Beach is the yes. best of the beaches. Okay, okay. I wonder if I was there. We had a hell of a... You got to walk down a ton of steps. I don't think I did. Not I was a thousand. A ten, ten oh, steps. Oh, I should have told you before. Uh -huh. But all the beaches are great. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're not going to get a bad beach at Laguna Beach. Right. Well, you know about the 12-step beach. I love the 12-step beach. <laughs> so so I get there, and uh, it's uh, I can't believe how pretty it is. And gorgeous. This, the, the, the town is gorgeous. The streets are pretty. The beach isn't so clean. Everybody's good-looking and young and oh, hot. I, I love and volleyball it. Volleyball and glistening and the muscles and the cans. And I had a hell thing. of a moon there. Moon, honey. Ah, good yes, moon, honey. All natural. Can't get bad. Can't go bad. Warren Moon. Yes, honey. The movie. So, uh, honey mooners. So, honey, I shrunk the kids. Aha! Uh -huh, there it is, honey crunch. So, uh, Oops. I uh, I spent like the whole day there. I get a nice kiss, a sun. I get a tan. I had a taco on the beach. I uh, live it up. And then the sh the shows that night were so hot because you're rested, you feel good. It's that. I call it geographical Xanax. Ah, I like that. I haven't had it since Puerto Rico. Where you're on the beach, you go, I don't have a care in the world right now. I got nothing bothering me. But it's so hard to be funny. That's the problem. You it can't is. write a joke at it the is. beach. Well, that's why L.A. comics stink. 
Yeah, that and a few other things. That's true. There's some good ones. That's true. I'm just I'm generalizing for humor's sake. It's about ten. Yeah, that seems high. Maybe. Well, Maybe. It's Burr. Well, he's I've, but I count him as a New yeah. Yorker. Yeah, Boston too. Yeah, he's East Coast. If you yeah. ask me, but that's for him. But he's from Seattle. Yeah. All right. Well, that's West. Yeah, okay, West. I think Kyle Kinane is very funny. Oh, Kinane's I, amazing. I think uh, he started in what Atlanta. Kinane's an Atlanta guy. Now he's Chicago. Is that right? Yeah. No kidding. Well, either way, but you know, Theo. We Vaughan's don't have to do that. Well, yeah, we can do this all day. Um, I, I think, think we're just, running out. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, all day is a stretch. I think Jessica Peluso is a cool cat. But she's from here too. Oh yeah, she's. I think she's Ithaca or some shit. Yeah, I just. She was bartending when I met her here. Woo. Way back when. She's got a sexiness. Certainly. All right. I don't want to get too, uh, me yeah. too, too. Yeah. Hashtag. So, whatever. Shows are great. Fly back to New York. I get a text from Schumer. Whoa. And she, and she goes, uh, hey, uh, do you want to do my podcast? Wow. That's a big deal, so, right? Yeah, tomorrow. And I go, wow. All right. Spotify, you know, big numbers. Haven't seen her in a while. You get to go to her apartment. She has a full spread. Anytime she has one human being over, full spread. Wow. She got a Barney Greengrass spread. And I haven't met the baby. Oh, Attell, right? Mean Steve Gene. Attell. Mean Gene Attell. So I go, oh, this is going to be great. So I show up, and Bridget Everett's there, and Keith and Rachel. We have a fun. It's not going to come out for a while because they was they got a, a crew there. They got cameras and lights, and the spot. they got desks set up with clipboards and shit. Spotify, no people are watching it. Wow, I love Keith. Oh, yeah. The whole crew was great. We eat, we laugh, we dine. So going to set the whole pap- the table here. Set the table. They made nah. you set the table? Uh, 9, 9 a.m. is a pitch. I'm pitching the Discovery, my TV show I'm pitching. Discovery? Well, we've we've finagled it to uh, our pitch. This is a show we've been working on for months. Okay. Finagled the pitch. Mark Norman needs help. Remember I told you about oh, it? Oh, yeah, The yeah. tutorial? Sure. Yeah. So, me tutorial. So then I go, uh, all right. This is it. We've 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 tailored every pitch to fit each channel. Okay. You know what they're looking for because every channel is like, we want diversity, we want right. science, we want math, we want gay, we want this. So, Isn't it weird that the channels have a specific thing they want? Shouldn't they course. just want good shows? Of course. Like they're like, all right, this network is just taking reality right, right. now. Do you have any reality ideas? Exactly. This network's doing just game shows exactly. right now. Do you have a game show? And I'm like, I just have the one show. Yeah. Well, it's why Netflix and, and HBO dominate because they just put everything on there. They, they just they, want they a got, show. They got game shows and movies and TV a little and bit of drama. everything. Yeah. So. We did science. It goes pretty well. It's our first pitch, but we're like, we're not going to sell anything to science, but fuck it. Yeah. So we pitch it. It goes pretty well. And then I go, all right, I got to leave and go do Schumer's thing. And they're like, all right, but you got another pitch at three. Okay. So get back over here because that we're pitching the true TV. And that's that's a good one. Get back to where you want. So we go to Schumer's. It's killer. We have a great thing. And she goes, I know you have a hard out, so we'll we'll wrap it up. But I got a surprise for you. And we're still on mic, so I'm on mic with a surprise. Mm. Now, do you like a surprise or you don't like a surprise? I like a surprise. I'm, I'm a rare bird. I don't like a surprise. I, I, I equate a surprise. Like Someone saying, I have a surprise for you reminds me of like, a, hey, can you talk? That's what I feel like. A can text. You talk? A text that says, can you talk? Uh, I don't want to surpri- say, hey, I got this. Uh, yeah. Even if it's good news, I don't want a surprise. All right, all right. I that hate makes a surprise. Sense. That makes sense. People assume that we'll like things. Like when people go, you know, they go, thanks for asking. I don't want to be asked. Mm. That's me, though. But I, I'm a weirdo. Okay. So I, you like a surprise, though. I do like a surprise, generally. I mean, I, at the end of it, I'll go, I didn't like that. But uh, I generally, see. I tend to enjoy a surprise. And it, usually if someone's prefacing, I have a surprise, it's probably going to be good. It's probably positive. Okay. But this was a this was a loop. This threw me a loop. for a loop. We already threw you for a loop. Wouldn't you be throwing a loop? Throw, Wait, throw him in a loop. You throw him in a loop. I suppose. Why would you be throwing for a loop? How do you they be throwing throw for you something? Now you're for a loop. Euphoria. Throw threw me for a loop. Yeah. Did they throw you in exchange for a loop? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They didn't. They're, the whole thing means they tricked me. Threw or me or for they twisted me up. I think it means four. Like you, you're lo- you looped. You got loopy. You threw me four. Like lo- if you said, okay. I threw you for a fall, or I threw you right. for a pants shit. Right, right, right. I gotta tell you, I'm getting a little loopy right now because I had this. Is what I I had a big crazy maple syrup 
big nutty pistons, yeah. a big syrupy thing with butter and sugar, a lot of sugar. Oh, you're juiced. And then I had a green tea, and now I feel like I'm crashing. I feel uh, jittery and wacky. Oh, shit. So right. kinda, I might need a cookie or a blowjob or something. Crashing, HBO. Uh, well, let's get to this surprise All right, here. I wonder if I have any sugar or something for you. Ah, I'll be all right, because I right, think what right. happens is you get jittery, and then your body writes the shit, lands. I and got then a we, cliff bar. Nah, I don't like right, a bar. Right, Any right. kind of bar I don't care for. Oh, yeah, you're off the bar. So, uh, I, okay, I'm sitting there. We're still on the show. It's still going. And she's like, here's the surprise. And I'm like, well, what's this going to be? You this know? is on air? This is on air. Okay. And I, out from the shadows, Seinfeld. Jerry! He shows up! What? Come on! He's the surprise! He's the surprise! Come on! He shows up, and they're like, hey, they all know him. You know, they're all in cahoots. What? And I'm like, oh, I mean, I, I was floored. So was he in the closet? I think he came out of the closet. Oh, finally. my God. I yeah. thought that for a long time. I know, we all did. He's out. Wow. So, I mean, just see, it's surreal. Because you're like, well, what's this going to be? Like a Bengal tiger or a pie in the face? I thought it was going to be something a little, little goofy. You're right. And well, he's goofy. He's silly. I guess he is goofy. But he, he's, he's silly. He's wearing a polo shirt, a baseball cap, and, and, oh, and my glasses. God. And he goes, hey, everybody. And I'm like, good. Holy shit. So what was he doing? He was high. Was he in on the secret? I think so. Oh, my God. So he knows that you're coming in your pants for I the side. I think so. I think so. And, and I you try to hide it, but, it, you know, I mean, talk about a, a off guard. Like, you caught me, sister. You got me. Right. Like, I was way thrown for a big loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't think you should hide. No hide. Well, go, I love you. My God. Jacqueline Hyde. That's I how I got in with Louie. Every time I see him, I'm like, this is crazy. I want to I fucking blow you. Oh, really? You know? Oh, yeah. Put your dick away. Yeah, Let's hang. You I've know? watched you together. You guys are pretty Well, standard. now it's all, you know, now it's all right, whatever. Right. Now I ignore his calls. I can't stand him. But sure, at the alive. time. Yeah. Plus the jerking. But yeah, so he shows up and I'm like... Ah, and then I just kind of shut down. I've, I've been zinging and zanging on the pot. I've been I've been holding court a little bit. Right, right. Yeah. And then he shows up, and I'm like, Gah. Do you think he was listening with a mug to I the think fucking so. thing? And I was gushing on his big Jew ass. Oh, my God. I know. Was that part of the setup? Was she asking you about Jerry? She was. Oh, she, Lord. She, she punked me. It's weird they're having fun about it before you get there. Like, I Let's know. do this. It'll fuck with them. I know. Well, they know. They're they're not idiots. They know where I stand and where he stands and stand up. Now, I mean, there's got to be... You might, you owe this woman your life. Of course. You should eat her ass on Christmas. I, I mean, I'm down. Although the, the, the pregnancy makes it weird. Weirder, but well, whatever. Who knows with with the uh, the morning sickness? But I'm just saying, uh, people shit on her. You know, she's got a bad rep, but like the loyalty and the things she's done for me. I mean, it's it's astronomical. Oh, I love her. She gave me 800 bucks. I, I want to blow her the she's rest a, of my she, life. She's a good egg. People go, but what about this? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't prove anything. I, I like her. She's never helped me more than anyone else. And they go, I like you, but I hate her. I'm like, well, you wouldn't know about me without her probably. You yeah. Dweeb. And also, who, who, what are you, you going to do that for? Yeah, of I course. Don't, I don't get that thing. No, I like her. And, and they go, well, she's not funny. I'm like, I've hung out with her. She's fucking hilarious. Yeah, she is funny. Yeah, you hang with a ta at a table and she's she's Shucking and jiving. Very but. funny person. I love that one special with the thing on Comedy Central. It's great. Mostly sex. Yeah, stuff. that yes, one's great. Yes, Very good. So uh, he shows up, and it's just like, now I'm in a room on mic with fucking Jerry. So like, how the hell did I get here? And, and then I'm thinking like, oh, I got a hard out. I got to go do this pitch. Like, I got I got plate spinning. Oh, my God. So I text my manager under the table. And I go, I'm going to be late. And he goes, are you fucking kidding me? You can't be late for it. We're pitching at a TV show. And I go... I can't leave. No. And I sent him the photo of Jerry, then I sent it to you later. That the was the photo. Oh, right, right, right. And he goes, ah, you piece of shit. So he pushed it back an hour. Yeah, you got to push back, because here's the thing. How, how many opp opportunities? Well, some of these things, it's like... You want to sell a show to have a TV show, but the only thing you want, really, you want to sell a show so you can be friends with Jerry Seinfeld. This is you're skipping over a phase. That's a great point. Who wants a show? Well, he wants a show because he wants a goddamn paycheck. Uh, of course, but you can't get ten percent of a Seinfeld hang. You can, and I won't give it up either. But, but uh, wow, it's it's funny too that like Schumer's a megastar. Oh like, yeah, she's there, and like Keith is such a great hang. Like for guys like us, it's a dream. Keith already. is like tough crowd, the whole thing. You're like, I, I see Keith. I'm like, oh boy, I better get on my A game. Yeah, exactly. And then you know, and then uh, Bridget and Ever Bridget and Rachel were French. They're fun. They're laughing. They're course. having a great time. They're cool as hell. But it's I'm shitting my pants around Schumer. I see her, and I'm sure. like, oh my god, let me. I don't, I, oh, she know. did the garden for Christ's sake. The whole thing. So, 
Seinfeld shows up, and I do that thing where I'm sitting there, and I notice my legs are like shaking like crazy because I'm, yeah. I'm ten feet away, uh, five feet away from the guy, and he's being funny, and he's like, "What am I doing here?" What? And they're like, "She's like, I can't believe he came." He's like, "I got nothing to do." You know, he's 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 so him. Yeah, he's Jerry. He's Jerry. And he's then the we, king. We talk about his special. We talk about comedy. We talk about life and all that. And Schumer goes, this is a classic Schumer, she calls me out. She goes, well, Mark's completely shut down once she showed up. And I'm like, ah, she's right. I did. I well, suck. But it's partly it's shut down, but it's also like, well, I have respect for my elder. I'm like, I'm, you have the floor. What am I going to yeah. do? Go over here. Well, listen to this one, guys. Exactly. Like, it's like you got a 65-year-old legend in your asshole. Exactly. So, you know. But so I say, okay, you have to have these like weird little tests in your head, like these mental uh, uh, pep talks. Like, okay, he's a legend, but... You're on the show too, and uh, he knows who you are. And don't chi- don't uh, overpower him, but chime in. You know, you start ha- like do a little, but don't do too much. But do a little, you know. Yeah, you just so, wanna you wanna be yourself. Yeah, so I chime. It's like Alan. Yeah, yeah. Be and yourself. I okay. Had a special called "Don't Be Yourself." So finally, uh, I just now it's normal again, and we start chatting, and the mics go off, and then uh, I just talk, sit there, and him and Keith are talking. I'm talking, and Keith's like, "Remember that room in Harlem?" He's like, "Oh yeah, I bombed there once." Wow. So it's so cool hearing about the '80s and this and that. Keith's like 90 years old. You forget. I know. He started in '84. Yeah. So you they bug me. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> I could never do it again. I, I'm worried I stepped on it. You might want to hit it again. You bugged me. There you yeah, go. That one wasn't as good. And he loves. I don't know who Keith is. He loves Jerry because Jerry's kept it real. He's like, you still do stand up. I respect that. He's right. Like, you defended her. You defended her. I respect that. Blah blah. So I leave. I'm just clicking my heels. Seinfeld goes. All right, have a good night, everybody. He leave, puts his helmet on, rides his bike out of there. Wow. It was so surreal. And then I go to this pitch. I am um, zigging. I'm on the move. Wow. Because you know, you go to a, I got my feet up. I'm smoking a cigar in the True TV office. The lady comes in. I'm like, here's the pitch, you cunt. What do you think about that? <laughs> Suck my dick. Blow me. If you don't pick it up, we don't care. We don't need you. This is the show. This is it. And we're not changing it. And right? Sh- yes. <laughs> They'll give us water in there. She loved it. She flipped. I flipped. Threw a loop. The whole thing was great. Now it's back to you. One of the, one of the best lines I talked about this the other day off air. One of my favorite lines ever in the show history was just George, right? <laughs> he got, when he, when he bailed on the pitch. Oh, this is the show, and we're not changing it, right? <laughs> like he tried to get, he tries, goes Jerry. for a second to get a little bit, and then right. Jerry just stays behind. How about this? Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, that's, that's the best. La Cocina. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. not through with that moving company. Oh. That's my vow to you. <laughs> Um, I hogged the whole thing. I'm no, sorry. no problem. It's a hell of a hog. I love a hog. Right in my ass. I'm riding in my mouth. Um, Asked him out. I'll just tell this quick one. Speaking of uh, celebrity hangs here, this one was no surprise, but uh, Ari texted me. He goes, I- I'm dying to watch. Well, he texted Mr. Wolf and I, mm. and he said, hey, let's go. Let's get together, watch the uh, Burr special. We'll get a big group together. Sure. Whole gang, and uh, you were in Irvine. Uh-uh. And uh, Michelle's like, ah, I already watched it, whatever. I think she hates us. Yeah. And then I go, well, I watched like the first 20 minutes, but we turned it off because we were tired. Sure. So I go, I'll, I'll, I'll go. And Sarah goes, I'll go. And I'll he goes, go, all right, I'll let's go, get, uh, we'll get Louie to see if we want to watch it with him. Good thinking. So Louie goes, well, I got a movie screen in my house. Oh, He's got the huge movie screen thing. This is great. So we set up a big date. We're all going to Louie's house Friday afternoon. And uh, we go there. He's got snacks. He's got a friend of his from school. We go and buy uh, food. We get some food to go. We're all at the Debs, like in the in the village, at some place. You, it's like a cafeteria style. Ooh. They got salmon and mac and cheese. Like the guy's like, oh, oh I make you a fresh today. The whole thing. What? We got I our little. There. We got our little tins, aluminum foil with the plastic cover, and we're all walking with our individual snacks. Oh, I love a tin. And it's so. Ex- Remember when you, me, and Sarah watched the Louis special yes. at the Beacon and yes. uh, in our her old bedroom and stuff? We were all like sitting. Yeah. One of the bed. It's fun to get comics together and watch a special. It's a good call. I think maybe when Wolves comes out, we should all get together and. I would love to. Maybe we can go to the theater again. And Soders. Soder. That's gonna be a while. Oh, I keep saying that. I think it's not out yet. Although I think they announced it. Oh, I think yeah, it's gonna be announced. Know. Didn't it might have gotten pushed back. Uh, I think he's announcing tomorrow. Oh well, this comes out in a week anyway. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. We'll take this out if we have to. I'll well, text We him. have time to hear if, if this is too yeah, much. Yeah, I'll write to him. All right, all right, all right. All right. But anyway, next next big special, we'll, we'll all get together and watch. 
And so we go over to Louis's house, and we sit there. He's got the huge pull-down movie screen. It's this giant screen, and he cranks the sound up to, like, 80, you know. We're all sitting there. First, we all talked about, uh, you know, specials, and we talked about the Chappelle special. We all broke down the Chappelle special. Nice. And we're like, let's go see this Burr special. So we got our snacks, and we're all laying back on the couch like this, you know. It's me, Sarah, Louis, his friend from high school. We turn uh-huh. it on. It's full volume, surround sound, and we all just howled and wow. laughed the day away. And it is crazy. It's surreal. It's like you're sitting there, and there's moments because you know, like I said, like Louis and I have become close for years now, and uh, Ari's close, and the whole thing. And so it's just weird moments where you're like, like that reality of like I'm at Louis C.K.'s house watching a Bill Burr special, unbelievable. With my wife and snacks, the whole thing. Our feet are up, and uh, we all die laughing. We turn it off, and we're like, well, what'd you think? We sat in a circle, just going through wow. the whole bit. That bit was killer. This was great. I would have done this differently. I wish I had that bit. Don't you love that bit? The consensus, by the way, is that airbag bit is like one of the greatest bits airbag, of all time. Airbag. What was that? Again? When he's like, things get better. Originally, they just had an airbag for the driver. And then he does the driver going like, Pff. "Woo, I'm alive!" Oh, my family! Uh-huh. Remember that? He's like, now everyone has an airbag. Yes. That's like one of the best bits ever. So we That's were all great. howling, laughing at that. Great day. I got a couple other things, but we gotta we gotta wrap, sorry, our, wrap up our ass. Don't say sorry. You're hanging out with Seinfeld well, for God's sake. I could have made it short. I did Irvine and the whole thing. No, make it long, maybe. Uh, um, make it loud. But anyways, it was a great time. That Burr special is unbelievable. Exciting time for comedy. As much as there is all the horse shit of cancel whatever yeah. bullshit, everyone's doing fine. Everyone's doing great. And and uh, you know what? I've, I've somebody pointed out. No one's really getting canceled for saying shit on stage. Oh, good point. It's mostly tweets or a pod or a, you know a post or something. Right. Well, they get mad. What's interesting? I've seen one argument that was like. This is not his act. A podcast is where you speak your truth and get to know, which is such a weird thing to just label something. But I'm like, no, no, a podcast is completely improvised and no one's even thinking of it. Like an act. My act is like I fucking slaved over the writing and fucking thought, okay, this word and that word. I'm presenting this thing that I've created. A podcast is just like I got to say something quick. Yeah, yeah, fill so, the air. Whatever. Uh, again, I mean, this is all more about us, I think, than Shane. But uh, <laughs> Shane's a hilarious comic, and he'll be he'll be great. He's so fucking uh, funny. Yeah, he'll and be. He's so him uh, himself, and uh, he's just a great comic and uh, a nice guy. So, anyways, yeah, I don't know what else to say. No, no, they, we we're living great lives. I'm doing the fucking Tonight Show tomorrow, and I bought a suit today. And anyway, you're you're traveling the world, and we're just. Killing it. We're doing comedy. We're getting paid. We're paying the rent. And that's it. We love you Jews at home. So thanks for listening. Spread the word. Tell like minded people and, you know, some other like minds if you don't, if you trust them. Yeah, we're so grateful. We appreciate it. Our fans are great. And that's the thing, too. It's like people get upset and you're like, we have such diverse people that, um, Think this is stuff is hilarious. Yeah, completely. There's like, there's plenty of Asian people who are like, oh, this guy, this fucking hilarious. I don't know. Again, I don't know about. And, and Shane, if you don't but, like us, just shit on us to your friends. Yeah, yeah. Just don't listen. That's what I don't understand. Well, just that, listen to a different show. That's a tall order. Well, Normberg. Uh, this weekend, I am at the Hartford Funny Bone. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's a tough bone. It's a bad bone. So if there's any fans that can come, come by. It makes it a little bit better. And uh, bring some gift cards if you want. Ooh. If you want. Starbucks, Cheesecake Factory, Uber. It'd I love them nice. all. At, uh, I feel like it's been a little while. But uh, again, I know times are hard down on the boulevard, so don't worry about it if not. Uh, and then October, big month. Seattle, laugh Seattle, my fucking favorite city. Derek will be there. Come meet Derek. Grab his nipples. Please, great laughs nips. in Seattle, October fourth and fifth. Then Skyline in Appleton, the tenth through the twelfth. Blue Room, I keep hearing great things. Springfield, Missouri, Burlington, Vermont, end of October, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. I'm excited for that one. And uh, are we doing the live show the eleventh? Is that happening? Yes, November eleventh, Village Underground, Veterans Day, live Tuesdays with stories. Then uh, November, Albany Funny Bone, Des Moines Funny Bone, DC Draft House, Laugh Boston. I'm not home again the rest of the fucking year. Cleveland and hilarities, uh, hilarities in Cleveland in December. Santa Ana, the the Tuesdays Festival. Yeah. Then I just added Lafayette, December twentieth, Houston, Texas, December twenty first. Bunch of dates on comedian Joe List. Big things happening on the Patreon. Get on that Patreon. Bonuses, live eps up the asshole. You get the video early. It's a great time. And we're going to need you in case we get canceled. Yeah, I mean, right. for God's sakes, that's get right. on the Patreon. Here, here. Help us out and uh, come defend us if they try to destroy us. Yeah, Tell we, us how we, much you like us. We have 
diverse fans. So please, you know, we don't ask for much. We're just, if, if we get called out for something, you know we're joking. You know it's in jest. So uh, have our backs. We we love you and mazel tov. Anal sex. Uh, this weekend, I was je- I'll be at the... Punchline in Sacramento, California. So that's a fun room. Come Love on, that us. room. Old sacks, a hard sack to fill. I don't know why. No so one let's, comes. But... Let's try. I know it's in a weird part of town. It's next to a mattress store. I'm gay, but try to jizz on my face. Uh, Dallas. You always say when you come to Texas. This is it. Dallas, Tejas. Chesseting, Michigan, we'd love to have you. Here's another Texas. Austin, Cap City. With Love it. Sean Murph. Uh, Chris Allen's coming as well. Acme in Minneapolis. I love Acme. We're going to sell those out. I can feel it. Spokane and Tacoma. Don't ask me for a guest set, you queefs. Jeremy Roar. Spokane. Comedy Club in Springfield. That's a Thursday, Friday gig. Rooster Tea in Sunnyvale. Then we got Portland, uh, Santa Ana. The Blue Room in Springfield, Missouri. Side Splitters got moved to February, and I'm in the Comedy Connection, no, Comedy Co. in San Diego in March. So oh, I heard good things. We'll make up that San Diego date. Thank you. Tell a friend. Kill your dad. Kiss your mom. Queef in your own mouth. And praise Allah. Take care of each other. I love you.